Hey, what's up everybody? It's Havoc here. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make this logo for your YouTube channel for free. You don't have to use any software. You're gonna be doing it all on your browser. Once this video hits 500 likes, I will also share the file that we're making today. First thing that you're gonna do is click the first link in the description and we're gonna click on create new here. And I'm gonna name this logo and I'm gonna make the width 2000 and the height 2000 as well and change the background to black and click create. The first thing I'm gonna click is the shape tool right here. Make sure we're clicked on circle and click and drag. And I'm also gonna hold the shift button to create an actual circle here. And we're gonna to go to styles, click on outline and click color and pick whatever color scheme you want. Make sure you select this hex number, copy, so control C and click OK. And I'm gonna change the size to about 10. I'm gonna click on fill and select none. Click the arrange tool right here and change the width and height to 2000. Click and drag and the rulers on this program will be pretty easy to use. So now it's all centered. In order to actually apply any effects to this circle, we're gonna actually have to go to layer and rasterize layer. Now you can go to filter and add an outer glow. I'm gonna change the size to 35 pixels, the feather to 100%, and the opacity just below 100%, so about 90%. Then we can click on color, and if you had copied the hex number, then you can just uh, control V, that way you have the same exact color as before. Click apply. As many of you guys know, if you don't know, YouTube does not really showcase these outer corners. I'm gonna copy this circle. So I'm gonna select it, go down here and click on duplicate, or you can do control D. And we're gonna change the size to 1750. Make sure that that's aligned. I'm gonna go back to our original outer circle layer. I'm gonna right click and click locked. Go to the shape tool, click and drag, hold shift. And I'm gonna change the fill to purple. Go to arrange and change it to 1680 by 1680. Now it's centered and I'm gonna put this up at the top just to make sure. What you wanna make sure is that it kind of lines up with the line work of your circle. Put that below our inner circle again. The next thing that we're gonna do is add text to our logo. So scroll over to the second link in the description and that will take you to defont.com. Now defont.com has lots and lots of different fonts that you can choose from if you happen to not like the font that we're gonna be using, but I'm gonna use MechSuit. So when you click the link in the description, that will take you to this page right here, and you can go ahead and click on this download button. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder here and just click into whatever font we have. Make sure it's the font file click and drag it onto your desktop. And then all you have to do is just click and drag it in there. And now your font is loaded into Pixlr. Now you're gonna go to the text tool down here, click anywhere and click add. And I'm just gonna make this text our channel name. So E and make sure our font is mech suit and drag this layer up at the top. I'm going to click the fill button and make this black. Control D or this button right here to duplicate it. Double click and change the letter to Z. So now we can combine these two text layers. Right click and click on merge down and that basically merges this layer with the layer below it. Now I'm gonna go to edit, free distort and change the text to whatever shape I would like. I'm gonna kind of distort it to where it looks a little wider up at the top and a little skinnier down at the bottom and just click anywhere and click yes. Now we're gonna add an outline. So go to edit, stroke, and we're gonna make the size 100 and just keep the color as white just to make the future steps a little easier. Click apply. All I'm really gonna do is go over this outline and make these edges sharp instead of all curved because I don't like how it looks right now. Add an empty layer right here and make sure it's below our text layer. And we're gonna go to our lasso tool here and click the polygon option 
and make sure our feather is at zero. So I'm gonna start at this corner right here and just make the points of this outline sharp instead of curved. It takes a little bit of trial and error. Like let's say, oh, I went way too far out here. I can just click escape and it will take me back to the previous point. Once you complete the outline here, go to your paintbrush tool right here, and I'm gonna change the brush size to a thousand pixels. Make sure the opacity is at 100%, and make sure you're selected on white, the same color as the outline. So we're just gonna go around and make sure we get everything selected for our outline. To get out of the selection, you click on the lasso tool and double click. So now you're out of that selection. So now what we're gonna do is click on our text tool, right click and merge down. Now we're gonna go back to our magic wand tool here and select the white outline that we just made. Now we're gonna add a gradient so this outline isn't just one singular color. I wanna briefly thank today's sponsor, Pixlr. Do you need help getting your other channel art done? Pixlr Premium allows access to 50,000 templates that range from YouTube banners and thumbnails to Facebook and Instagram posts. With premium, you get access to higher resolution, unlimited saves, and their mobile apps. Click the link down below to get 40% off now. So I'm gonna go to this gradient tool and click on linear, and I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to whatever I would like. So for the lighter color, I'm gonna make it light blue, something really light, something like that. And then for the darker blue, I'm going to make it somewhere in the middle, something like that and click okay. Now click out of that and just click and drag. Now I'm gonna to try to delete this portion of the Z because I want this to be below everything else. So I'm gonna to go to the magic wand tool, click our shape, click on it and then right click invert selection go to our text tool and then click on our eraser make sure the opacity is a hundred change the size to a thousand and just go ahead and click and now that portion of our lettering is deleted double click on the lasso tool so i'm going to make sure our text is below both of the outer glows and also the shape should be below the text here now what i want to do is make sure that I delete this portion of the outer glow because I want the text to be above it. So I'm gonna click on the text layer here, go ahead and click on the magic wand tool and select this portion. And I'm also gonna hold the shift button and also select this black portion here. And I'm gonna go to the eraser tool and go to our inner circle here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that portion. Double click on the lasso tool to get out of that selection. So the next step, click on the third link in the description. That will take you to this page right here. And you're gonna want to go into the AI generator. So I already have some keywords that I want because I want this to kind of be space theme. So I'm just copying in the keywords that I have. You can select different styles. So I'm gonna do fantasy art and I'm just gonna go ahead and click generate and it will give you some AI generated images. If you like certain ones, you can always click variations and it will give you variations of certain ones. So you can kind of narrow it down on what you are trying to look for. So I really like this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on open and click the save down here and make sure I'm gonna save to PNG and click save as. Now we're gonna go back to Pixlr E, our editor, and go to layer, add image as layer. I'm gonna add our AI image, click open, and I'm gonna change the size to 2000 by 2000. What I'm gonna do is move this down to the bottom and click on our magic wand tool. Make sure we got our shape selected. And I'm just gonna select that, right click, invert selection. And I'm just gonna lower the opacity on this outer edge. So I'm gonna click on this eraser tool, click on our background and make sure we're at 80 opacity, a thousand brush and just click and drag. Now I'm going to move this up above our shape. I'm also noticing a lot of the cool effects in this AI background are kind of behind the text. So I'm gonna flip horizontal 
so that it's showing a little bit more on this side. So now that we have that out of the way, I can go to adjustment, hue and saturation, and I can click on colorize, and I can basically match either the color of the text, or I can create something new, which is what I'm kind of thinking, something a little more purple, and make this a little darker so that it makes the text kind of pop out. So I'm thinking something along these lines, click apply, and we're gonna rasterize this circle. So go to layer, rasterize layer, and I'm gonna create a gradient for this. So we'll go ahead and click on gradient, make sure it's on radial, and I'm just gonna make it go from light purple, almost like a pink, to a dark purple. And this will just take a little bit of trial and error at first. I'm trying to make this look a little darker because it looks like the Z is kind of going out of the view. I'm going to double click on the lasso tool and click out of that. And I'm just gonna change the opacity of our circle here. So now once you have a finished product, you're gonna go to file, save, and we're gonna want to save as a PNG. Go ahead and click save as. So now we're gonna go back to YouTube. And if you click on your icon right here and go to your channel, it will land you to this page right here. And you can just click on this camera button right here. We'll just click on change. And we'll click on our logo right here and click open. So click done. And then you can click publish. You got a new logo. So I hope that did help you guys out. If it did, a like would be very much appreciated. And with that being said, it's been your boy Havoc here and I'm out. Peace.